Assalamu alaikum welcome back to my youtube channel in today's lecture we are going to discuss education system of china before this we discuss education system of india uk usa today's lecture we are going to discuss about china's education system number 1 we first we discuss for introduction full name is people's republic of china its capital is beijing first pre partial dynasty is 2070 bce and first imperial unification is 221 bce republic established on 1st january 1912 and date of its establishment as prc is 1st october 1949 we discuss about the area of china it's about 9596961 km square national flag having five stars with red color currency is yuan gdp total for 23.2 dollar trillion dollar gdp per capita is 16676 dollar gdp total nominal for 11.8 trillion dollar and gdp per capita nominal is 8481 dollar population is 1.4 billion ruling party is communist party investment on education is 4% of gdp literacy rate overall is 96.94% literacy rate for male is 98.2% literacy rate for female is 94.5% and gender difference in literacy rate is 3.7% aims goal and objectives of education in china to serve the construction of socialist modernization be combined with production and labor and foster builders and successors with all around development of morality intelligence and physique for social cause education should be carried out in spirit of inheriting and expanding the fine historical and cultural tradition of chinese nation and elimilating all the fine achievements of the civilization process of human being the 9 year compulsory education took effect from july 1st to 1986 and established deadlines and requirements and effort to attain a universal education for all school age children the law requires that all children attend schools for a minimum of 9 years although the bill authorized tuition fee education for the compulsory 9 years this remain a target rather than a reality The government does work to reduce the cost of tuition and supplies, and also provides stipends for poor families. Cause about history and governors of China is 4,000 years of Chinese dynasties, feudalism dominant up to 10027 BC, and education was only a privilege. Goal to produce government officials focus on six arts, which are rights, music, RKC, chariot. Writing, history, and mathematics, but when we discuss 770 to 221 BC, it confused philosophy dominant in education, which is personal conduct and principles of society and government. Opinion war 1839 to 1842 China lost to Britain. Western education introduced by Christianious missionaries, and in 1911 revolution, Sun Yat-sen ended monarchy and established the ROC. more western type of education and does not want to lose chinese and identity history of the modern education of china from 1949 is communist rule people's republic of china soviet model of education which focus on technological needs higher ed was focused less than half children in primary and secondary education most walking on two legs balance of western education and confusion vocation or work study regular university college and college prep modern education of china from 1949 its cultural revolution classes stop until fall 1967 each level shortened development of community schools for agriculture regions in 1976 to present education reforms first to unfold four modernizations which are agriculture industry national defense science and technology and four cardinal principles the show sociologists wrote the peoples of democratic dictatorship the chinese communist party leadership and marx and lenin more zedon thought history of modern education of china from 1949 is educational elite school weeded out rural primary enrollment declined children needed to work rather than to go school 
Four type of secondary schools which are key point middle schools are non key general or ordinary middle schools specialized technical secondary schools and vocational schools 1985 post modernization of the reform of the education system is to bring about four modernizations to increase state funding for education to ensure that the education system shall supply a sufficient number of qualified personnel institutions a nine year compulsory education policy and to expand the system of technical and vocational education 1985 post modernization of the reform of the education system to give provisions for reforms of higher education to change the system of job assignments to graduates and to grant colleges and universities most physicians making powers to strengthen educational leadership state education commission formed allow president of a college or university to be ceo goals of the reforms it reduce youth literacy 1% and increase adult literacy to 90% nine year compulsory education with 95% enrollment strive for admission age of 6 years increase senior secondary enrollment to 50% increase higher education enrollment to 11% further development pre service and in service job transfer training and continuing education to have a comprehensive social education system and life long learning modern education it has a system of china is composed of three parts which is pre school education basic education and higher education level of schools in china as for primary school is grade 1 to 6 junior middle school for grade 7 8 and 9 senior middle school equivalent of the high school in the us and finish grades at 10th 11th and 12th afterward they will have the option of attending university or entering the workforce stages of education is for age 6 to 12 is for primary education and grade 1 to 6 and it is compulsory age 12 to 15 junior middle school grade 7 to 9 and education is compulsory age 15 to 18 education is senior middle or vocational school grade 10 to 12 and it's not compulsory typical age is 18 to 22 university or college level is varies and not compulsory for pre school education and pre school education starts at age of 3 and ends at the age of 6 and it also known as the kindergarten education in china a kindergarten is generally divided into three levels lower kindergartens Uh, Zhao Pan, three to four years old; Middle Kindergarten, Zhao Hang Pan, four to five years old; Upper Kindergarten, the band is for five to six years old children. Basic education is elementary education, junior high school education, senior high school education, and vocational education. Elementary education is usually start at age six and ends at the age of twelve. The elementary school system is slightly different between urban and rural areas of China. For junior high school education in China, the junior high school education usually starts at age of 13 and ends at the age of 15. The students whose final grade of all subjects are above 60 are allowed to graduate from junior high school and are admitted to senior high school. And those who fail it, it will stay down at the same level for one year. Senior high school education. Senior high schools are very popular among the cities of China. Senior high school is divided into three stages: elementary stage in senior one, transitionary stage in senior two, and the college entrance exam preparation stage in senior three. Higher education: the higher education, usually known as college education, which starts when people are over 18 and is composed of tertiary vocational school. It's mean two or three years. then technological academy which is for 3 years and undergraduate school which is for 4 year higher education the undergraduate school students can continue their education through a graduate examination and those who pass it will study in a graduate school for 3 years and get their masters degree those who get their masters degree can apply to pursue a phd degree and it usually takes about 3 years to graduate vocational education junior vocation is the part of 9 years compulsory education which is 3 to 4 years mostly in rural areas to provide basic professional knowledge and skills to workers peasants and employees Secondary vocational education is for three to four year, which practice oriented technical and nominal schools. 
technical vocation is for two years for high school and secondary vocational graduates and vocational training courses are for managed by the department of education and label but provided by the employers for special education for blind deaf or mentally retarded children and teens 1539 special education schools some students attend regular schools but make kept at home are institutionalized some immigrants to US. about non formal education the history of non formal education starts from 1949 in china this term was used for worker and peasants education it was launched by the chinese communist party ccp it was imparted through correspondence and radio non formal education is by 1956 as out 62000 peasant attendees different classes representing 30% of age group of 14 years and older from rural population 1950 ccp set up a worker peasant accelerated middle school which is end by the 1998 661 705 school of very type of non formal education produced in 94841 graduates non formal higher education is for 3 years in length it follows the curriculum of formal education at this stage enter in the program requires passing the adult higher education inter examination which is national public examination state education commission has included this type of program in provisional autonomous religious municipal and country level education commission departments and bureaus open learning through the self study examination has attracted many candidates there is no entrance requirement for the self study examination this approach was piloted in 1981 and extended nationwide in 1983 self study examination is taken twice in a year curriculum it elementary school education curriculum includes chinese mathematics english physical education music drawing science and morality and ethics in primary schools However, only Chinese math and physical education are set up in many rural areas. It's about junior high school education. The curriculum of junior high consists of Chinese, mathematics, English, physics, chemistry, history, politics, geography, biology, physical education, information technology, music, and drawing. School education curriculum of uh, consists of Chinese, maths, English, Russian, and Japanese in some urban areas. physics chemistry biology and geography history morality and ethics in physical education health and it examination national entrance examination promotion from senior middle school to undergraduate program which is for bachelor's degree promotion from undergraduate program to postgraduate program for master's degree promotion from postgraduate program to phd promotion from postgraduate program to phd promotion from senior vocational middle school program to higher professional program five scale most common secondary and tertiary grading system in china which is for scale grade description and us grade if your grade is from 90 to 100 percent it excellent and grade a 80 to 89 percent good and grade b 70 to 79 percent satisfactory and grade c 60 to 69% it's pass and grade d and 0 to 59% it's fail and f grade f but when we discuss about teacher student ratio uh, which is the level of primary level 17.5 students per teacher junior middle 12.41 students per teacher senior middle 14.1 students per teacher secondary vocational 20.47 students per teacher and higher education 17.73 students per teacher teachers training program pre and primary teachers training montessori teachers training nursery teachers training new teachers training which is 120 hours duration probation period professional development is for 240 hours in each 5 year cycle national teacher training program and online teachers training program normal universities for the six normal universities under moe is beijing normal university east china normal university now northeast china normal university central china normal university southwest normal university and shengxi normal university 
use of ICT in education is for Chinese government has introduced ICT in educational institutions with the aiming at constructing infrastructure needed for information environment, developing educational resources, incurring computer education, supporting teachers, professional development, integrated ICT into a traditional classrooms, and delivering good educational resources in distance education. Different levels of ICT says for top level 10 universities of China. The top 10 universities of China have been well selected according to their comprehensive strength into both hardware and software by China Education Ministry in 2018, which are listed as follows. Peking University is number 5, Tseng Hua University is for number 1, Fudan University is for number 220, Zing Chang University for 33, uh, 38, Shanghai Jiu Tong University, Nanjing University, Zohang University, Wuhan University, Chinese University of Science and Technology, Jilin University. But when we discuss about international organizations as regards educational cooperation and exchange, China partners include some international organizations which are United Nations Development Program, United Nations Children's Fund, United Nations Population Fund, World Bank, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, Asia Europe Foundation, Asian Development Bank, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. When we discuss about comparative table indicator for Pakistan and China comparison, it is about investment. Investment is 2% of GDP, but in China it's 4% of GDP. Literacy rate in Pakistan is 58%, but in China is 96.4%. Teacher student ratio is 46.5% in Pakistan but in China it's 17.5%. Use of ICT in Pakistan is less focused but it's more focused in China. Ranking in world is 128th number in Pakistan and 79th number in China. Ranking in overall education in Pakistan is 80th number and China is 25th number. Vocational education in Pakistan is less focused but in China is more focused. In today's lecture we discuss China's education system in detail. Uh, we will discuss more about more education systems of other countries which are basically fall in the continent Asia. We will meet you in next lecture till then bye bye.